So hello hello everyone habari zenu mko vipi najua mko salama kabisa and uh, I'm so I'm so glad to have you this very hour of the day so good morning good afternoon good evening good good night from wherever you are watching me I hope that you guys are doing well and this is just a wake up call just uh not a wake up call a check up call sorry I uh, just wanted to know how you doing how everything is going on and uh, personally I'm doing fine I'm doing well and actually I'm in the process of bringing you what you requested me in uh, I think I feel we had a conversation on my inst- on my Instagram stories so you guys we had a conversation where I actually requested you to tell me like what um way would you love to to get my stories like i shared a, a series of of my stories back then from where i was raised in the slopes of mount kenya oh i just love saying it in the slopes of mount kenya that's where i grew up in a village that i don't think many of, of you know it but it is an amazing an amazing an amazing place with the beauty of what mother nature has give us so it's it it was wonderful growing up in that kind of an environment because it taught me a lot and in life where i am and where i stand now i can appreciate where i came from and the stages that i've gone through the mistakes that i have done along the way and actually the successes as well as the failures because they say that he who does not understand the concept of failing then is doomed to success so you have to accept that along the way you have to make some failures or to enc- to, to to encounter failures for you to succeed and so far so good i'm actually doing pretty well and i hope that all of you are doing well so now raised and uh, not born in laikipia county in the bow uh, border of Laikipia and Nyeri County then raised in Kirinyaga County then schooled there and went to uh, for my for for my primary school I went in Kirinyaga County and then I also went to a um, high school that was just like 7 kilometers away from home um, so I used to cover like 14 kilometers if I can remember very well that was the case and it was on foot and sometimes it was very crazy especially when 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 maybe there were rains or maybe it was crazy it was crazy and you're supposed to get to school by around 6 sometimes the rains you have to to walk that long distance we used to wake up around 4 4, 4 a.m. in the morning and then start walking a journey that could take uh could take us uh, took, took us around um uh, two one to two hours it was not easy but i think that kind of story i had shared with you but we i'm going to do an exclusive an exclusive an exclusive story about the same so i hope that you guys are doing well then also share with you my story after i now went to campus and how my campus life was and how i enjoyed campus life and how i made mistakes as well and some of the uh, good memories that i can remember back then in the land of champions was in gishu county 254 that's where i went to to study for my undergraduates and it was an experience of a kind and i would like to share with you as well and the main reason i'm doing this is just to encourage someone that the impossible it's only conceived in the mind but nothing is impossible indeed so if you set your mind that you will get it and then you dare to challenge it then definitely you will get it because i remember i shared a photo of myself and my friend and I, uh, uh, we had gone to witness a graduation party for one of our student, uh, one of our friend who was by then a final student graduating, and <laughs> we didn't even have an idea 
we didn't even had an idea that one day we would put put that gown and just graduate it was crazy but we did it and actually my friend wherever he is somewhere in europe is doing his under uh, his uh, graduate studies right now in a couple of in, in a couple of months he'll be graduating and definitely i believe in a few years we'll be calling him doctor doctor dismas wherever you are salute man salute man you know the story better than i do so guys i also be sharing with uh, with you how i joined um the how i joined this a cappella group that we used to, to do to do music in um a cappella songs how i joined how what we did how the group became to a halt and then what kind of things that we used to do where did i used to perform but still in in campus i also share with you how <laughs> this experience that i went to just try my luck and uh, in the east africa got talent uh, auditions that were held in nairobi kenya at kicc i remember i was i was uh, i was number 1946 there is a number the registration number that i was given at the entrance but what i saw there is a story that is worth listening and mark you <laughs> i had borrowed someone transport all the way from eldoret to nairobi and then i believe that you guys are very eager to know the story and also i'll be sharing with you how i became a poet and how my poetry journey started and actually where it took me after four years in campus how and how i enjoyed it so guys i know it's a lot there's a lot there's a lot and just like i had mentioned earlier we have a very a very new baby baby girl that will be introducing to you very soon so guys keep locked and finally i will also tell you how i became a radio host for just only 2 hours just only two hours just imagine it was amazing an experience of a kind so guys there's a lot how i started uh, at the journey of being a youtuber the counties i traversed back home and how it changed my way of thinking and how i interacted with people and all these info uh, this this um content you can find them on my youtube channel at mc jesse the poet it's just one word on youtube you can go there and check some of the um content that i posted by then but still along the journey this young man from the slopes of mount kenya had a dream to go and one day in life that he would go he would leave his country for a while to go and study abroad a dream that was far much from reality as most of my friends and close relatives would say but through the journey of determination resilience hard work patience consistency and believing in myself the dream came to be and right now as i'm broadcasting this you get me from all the way from Allendale, Michigan state United States of America so guys i'm so much much there's so much much i have for you you can't avoid to to keep tuned and you know what if you've not followed my handle just please share with your friends for there is a lot of information that is on the way and last and not the least i love singing and because of that I got us to something is a parting shot for you guys as we meet in the next episode that I believe that we will explore explore so I just remember so many things that I did that I feel that you guys are, you should know them so but I don't worry I I got you I got you just a minute I'm going to do a song and a cappella song just one chorus 
by Ed Sheeran. Not is it Ed Sheeran really? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, it's called uh, oh. the minutes. Oh, what's happening? What's, what's happening? happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happen yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, it's called the castle on the hill. The castle on the hill. Castle on the hill. You getting it all the way from Allendale, Michigan, United States of America, from Jesse the Poets. Oh, I'm on my way. Yeah, let me get the song. Let me get the song. Let me get the song. Oh, 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 oh. And actually, how I started being a voiceover and my first gig that I did with my cell phone or with a mobile phone and how it changed my way of thinking. So the song goes like this. I'm on my way Driving at night down those country lanes Singing to tiny dancer And I miss the way You make me feel And it's real We watch the sunset over the castle on the hill we watched the sun 